what's going on YouTube fam we're gonna go ahead and install a T10 uh, V2 diffuser in the back I'll show you guys I already installed one before but I'm gonna go ahead and do this one without removing the bumper so let's see how it goes so we'll go ahead and remove these plastic trim pieces right here all you gotta do is under here take these two clips off do the same thing on the other side and then from there just kind of pull pull out and then we'll see use the plastic trim tool to get in there and it should come out all right guys so that's removed it's gonna be very dirty because all that dirt goes in there and grime whatever so just use a flathead if you can i'm gonna use this tool i'll put the link in the description below on from amazon and then i'm just gonna go ahead and use these right now see let me pull out so pop put a little bit of pressure on it don't be so like fragile with it pressure yeah it is we actually need to put some strength on it on this thing see how the first clip is right there it pulls out yeah right there yeah you gotta be like that with it and then in the end over here you're gonna have a small screw in the back let me go under there real quick Oh boy, this is gonna be. <laughs> All right, so the screw right back here. See that? We gotta take that off. And then this should fairly come right off. See, it's holding it. That's it. It's off, so all you gotta do is pull it, come right off. Kind of wiggle and come right out. It's not dirty. So you do the same thing on this side. And then we move on to the small piece right here. That's just the big one in the middle. All right, guys, so now we're going to the middle piece. Um, so I use, you know, you could use any of these small panels on the, on the side. Use this, and then on the side, it, it just pops out. It's really hard, but try to get this clip on top as well. So use the second one, try to squeeze in up here to push down. It should pop right out. So that's the easiest way to do it. And just pull out the rest. Just wiggle it and kind of pull out. It should come off. So don't be like, yo, I can't do it, it's stuck. Is there more screws or anything? <laughs> so just pull it, guys. That's all you gotta do. Alright guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and move up to up here. There's a small screw up here, just remove that like a push pin one. Like these. It's right there. And then just kind of pull this out. Take this rubber piece off the you know the, the panel. Not all the way, just half. And then just kind of pull on into this. So you get some access in the back, like this. And we're gonna need to use, um, we're gonna need some wires from here. So we're gonna cut this open and get the, I'll show you guys which, which wires you gotta slice to get the third brake connected. Uh, yeah, brake light. This is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be that hard, yeah, it should be easy. All right, so there's this one, there's a clip back here. So just kind of pull on into it, it, it should come out. Or you can also um, disconnect the battery. I mean, not the battery, sorry, the tail light. And then you should be able to do it easier, just have more uh, room to play with. But take these two screws out and take the tail light out because we're gonna try and attempt to throw this third brake light from down here and down the bumper area. So it's gonna go in the center. With a diffuser all right so we took off a tail light and since we have excessive you know aftermarket uh, tail lights on we have some extra wire coming here all you got to do is unplug this the main the main one that's connected over here so instead of going all the way in the back so you could just slice it here you know with the blade uh slowly make sure not to put any wires in there we're gonna use uh three wires from here there's four here so i'll show you which one to which we gotta use and put the tail light to the side and we'll get work on this all right so obviously this is not gonna fit anywhere near here so it's not that hard you can see there's this space down there uh, where is it right there you can see put my foot right there see that and from there so I, I attach the light I mean the wires with this magnetic thing whatever extending stuff you got you can break a hanger cut that into a piece and make it extended and just pull it from the bottom top up and someone will grab it from here and you're good to go 
Alright uh, guys, uh, my fault. So the wiring would go through here first. But, you know, it's time to take these bolts off over here. Put it in, screw it from here. And then do that trick I showed you guys earlier. Then you'll be good to go. is because we got a cutter from this clip all the way down to here uh, or to this section because it's going to hit against the frame right here see this frame is going to avoid it's gonna, this is like the obstacle right here for you guys it might not go in completely because there's like a frame over here so we're cutting this whole section so it goes through smooth that's how we're going to cut it and I'll show you guys how deep we got to cut that hi guys here it is we did cut it this section to up to here a piece like that so pretty much if you do cut it it'll be so easy to all these clips to go in though this thing won't stop you anymore from here so in the back what you want to do is see how in the back there's a screw that goes in it replaces that with the other one all you gotta do is remove this right here this metal piece and transfer it over to that and then the screw will actually go in and fit perfectly Without that, that screw's not going anywhere in there. It's just gonna stay loose. I like how you put the um, Pakistan emblem there. That looks nice. Oh, yeah, you're Pakistan. I was right. It's right there, right there. These two clips, too, guys. Yeah, in the middle. Then we'll just go ahead and clip them on. It just goes right in with clips. That's it. Line them up and clip them in. And right, we'll see how it looks once it's clipped in. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is start in the middle. Make sure this. Uh, you know slide it through here first because a little bit you know extended whatever just slide it through here first make sure it fits move it around clip in the middle piece and then just it just you know just punch it in you're good to go and the back lines up perfectly and then we'll put this on after this is done screwed in um that's how it looks so far looks clean looks really nice easy it went in real real good so that's it, just line up the clips over here and it should go in. We'll see how the, yeah, then we, we'll go ahead and install this as well with the wires coming out right now. All right guys, finally, the most important part. This is, this don't, don't stress this one out. This is coming from the aftermarket tail lights, but this is the main one. This is when you unplug it from the tail light, but temporary, just to test it out, you know, you gotta forget the brown wire so when you slice the third break this break right you have to go slice uh black it will go with black on black and then the tail light purple is coming out so with the purple you're gonna connect the red wire from this uh from this uh, third break light you're gonna connect the red to the purple and the yellow will connect to the gray one from there so that's how it looks. I'll leave it there right there. So if you want to take a screenshot of it. Hold up. So black on black. The brown comes out. Don't worry about it. Purple with red. The gray with yellow. That's it. And then um, temporarily put zip ties and make it really tight so it stays there. But I'm going to take them off and put a... Uh, electrical tape and heat it up so it stays good and then we'll just connect this back in the tail light and push it back in and um yo go ahead and um, press the brakes show them real real quick so look at that diffuser perfect fit guys perfect fit i know it's got a scratch but that's what you get from new york um hit the brakes oh that's nice see that oh, that's good bro that's good so we're gonna go ahead and connect the lights back on, put the two screws back on. We'll take a look at the full test. But that's how the diffuser looks, guys. Look at that. That is dope. 
And definitely, if my subscribe my subscribers, right, my content help you guys out, do it really easy. Subscribe if you're in my viewing community, consider subscribing. I really appreciate that. And definitely, link is in the description below for this diffuser as well. And you get it probably within a week. So we'll we'll do a end cap, you know, once we install everything together. That's it, guys. It's done. See, it's not that hard. Yeah, make sure you guys uh, follow uh, Maze yeah. Music. Uh, he produced music yeah, like for I you, so DM him. Point, him. He's got his email on the profile. Look at this, looking great already. The diffuser on the back. I'll put his uh, description or his IG in the. Well, I'll put his IG in the description as well. So that's nice. That's it, guys. Uh, stay tuned.